It is, as always, a special joy to be back in Canada again, a place that is very dear to us both. This time, to be in Canada's historic ocean gateway to the Atlantic at the official start of summer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the greatest pleasure for us to celebrate Victoria Day with you. It reminds us all of our common bonds and common history. On such an occasion, perhaps I may repeat the words of my beloved grandmother, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, here in Halifax, very nearly 75 years ago. As the King and Queen prepared to depart Canada, my grandmother reflected that seeing this country with all its varied beauty and interest has been a real delight to me. But what has warmed my heart in a way I cannot express in words is the proof you have given us everywhere that you are glad to see us. Being with you here today, being with you here today, my wife and I have felt that Nova Scotians and Canadians are offering us what I can only describe as a thousand welcomes, meal bienvenue, and epchilasi. This part of the world is steeped in Scottish ancestry and tradition, as are the pipes and the fiddle and the dance and the food and the kilts and the cairns, but most importantly, the people. <laughs> Thank you.